Alright, question number 8. Diagram 4 shows triangle OBQ and straight line OAC. Point P lies on straight line OQ, okay, and they give you this OC equals to 3 OA. So this one actually you can form a ratio, right? So OC over OA equals to 3 over 1. So that means OC is 3. So OC is here, right? The whole thing here is 3. And then OA is, this part here, is 1. So if here is 1 and the entire thing is 3, so here is 2 lah. Okay? So just, okay, I just write it like this lah. So that is much easier. So here is going to be 1. Here is going to be 2. Okay? Next. It is given that OA, they give it a vector. So OA, so this one here, OA is A. So if here is A, here will be 2A lah. Okay? Because it's now the ratio is 1 ma. So if here A, here will be 2A. Next, OB is B. So OB is here. AP equals to 1 over 3 AB. Okay, and then OQ equals to KOP. Alright, so question A. They're asking for OP. Where is OP? OP. Huh. OP, what can you do? So actually what you can do is we can use one of the equations here. So what we since we got AP, right? We got AP, right? So we can form a equation using this triangle. Because we know this vector, we are looking for this, and we can form an, a, another one here. Okay, so we can use the that triangle. So what can we form? Since we are looking for OP, so we can say OP is equals to OA plus AP. Okay, so OA, we already know the vector. Vector is A plus AP is what? 1 over 3 AB. So what is AB? AB is the vector A to B, right? So it's what? Negative A plus, plus B. So it's going to be A plus 1 over 3 negative A plus B. So you expand this, you get a minus 1 over 3a plus 1 over 3b. So your answer is 2 over 3a plus 1 over 3b. Okay, done. Next, so wait, this is OP. Huh? Let me just write here, OP. Yeah, 2 over 3, yeah. Okay, next. They ask for OB. So I think this one, there's some mistake with the question. They shouldn't ask OB. Um, because you already know what is OB, right? So it's actually supposed to be, the, you have to change the question. This is not OB. Eh? This is actually BQ. The question is actually asking for BQ. So how can we form, find BQ? Okay, let me write here. So BQ is where? BQ is here to here, right? So we can form, hmm, we can use this one. Because they give you another equation, another equation there. So here they give OQ, right? OQ is this. And you have this. So you can form another equation with this three, this triangle here. Okay. So we know that BQ is equals to BO plus OQ. Okay. So BO is what? BO is negative B plus OQ is... Uh, K O P, right? So we write here K O P. So what is O P? O P we already found here, right? This one, O P. So we have O P. So we just substitute. Negative B plus K O P is two over three A plus one over three B. So expand this, you get negative B plus. 2 over 3 ka plus 1 over 3 kb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the same ones together. Okay, so here a, right? a only got 1. So it's going to be the same. So it's 2 over 3 ka. But b, you got 2 here. So I'm going to combine. So it's going to be plus plus um, 1 over 3k 
minus 1 b okay i'm going to factorize the b lah so you got 1 over 3 and negative 1 so yeah 1 over 3k minus 1 so i'm going to write in this formula all right next what they ask for hence find the value of h and k if bq equals to hbc okay so they gave you another equation here um let's see okay you know what okay i'm gonna write here so bq equals to hbc so they gave you the equation we're just going to use the equation so bq do we have bq let's see where is bq oh bq already found this is bq la. this one is bq so it's going to be 2 over 3 k a plus 1 over 3 k minus 1 b equals to h b c where is b c b c is from here to here so that means we can form a triangle with this okay so b c is equals to negative b plus 3a okay if you ask me how i get negative b is here plus 3a okay all right so now we are just going to expand this so 2 over 3 k a plus 1 over 3 k minus 1 b equals to um i'm going to write in the form of like a in front b behind uh. so it's going to be 3 h a minus h b okay so why i'm writing like this so that we can compare the a and the a and then the b and the b okay that's what we want to compare so what we have is 2 over 3 k equals to 3 h so if i write uh, i make k subject lah. so it's going to be 9 over 2 h yeah then the second equation is 1 over 3 k minus 1 equals to negative h so k i already know is 9 over 2 h so i'm going to substitute here so it's going to be 1 over 3 times 9 over 2 h minus 1 equals to okay you know what i'm going to put the h together so it's going to be plus h equals to 1 so here i get 3 over 3 over 2 h plus h equals to 1 so 3 over 2 plus 1 will be 5 over 2 so h is equals to 2 over 5 so su substitute back into this h here 9 over 2 times 2 over 5 so i get 9 over 5 so i got my answers h and k h is 2 over 5 k is 9 over 5 all right question c question c they asked to find the ratio of bq and qc so wait huh? where is bq where is qc bq is here okay and qc all right so you know what we can actually use back this one right because we already found h why i'm using that because it's basically the same line la. bq and bc is all on the same line uh, sorry bq and qc is all on the line bc right same thing so if we write back the equation we know that bq equals to h is what h is 2 over 5 so 2 over 5 bc okay so if we write in the form of ratio it's going to be 2 over 5 so what do you know from here bq represents 2 and bc represents 5 so if we go back to the diagram here bq represents 2 and then bc which is the whole thing here represents 5 so if you're looking for the ratio of bq to qc what is qc qc is 3 yeah? because the whole thing is 5 ma. so bq is 2 qc is 3 so that's the answer okay that's what they're asking here yeah? bq to qc so bq to qc equals to 2 to 3 Okay, so this is your answer.